Okay, good morning and Assalamualaikum for everyone. So, welcome to my class, Mathematics Form 1. Okay, I am teacher Nabila. Okay, this is 12 language program, DLP. Okay, so for today, I want to introduce to you the integers, the first topic in Mathematics KSSM integers. Okay, so what are positive numbers and negative numbers? Okay, let's watch this video first. Positive and negative numbers. Sea level, sea level refers, refers to the mean, to the mean or, average or average height of the ocean's, of the ocean's surface. surface. We use, we sea, use level sea level to describe to the describe height of height geographical, of geographical features, features, such as mountains, such as mountains and, trenches. and trenches. Mount Everest, Mount Everest Earth's highest mountain, is 29,029 feet above sea above level. Sea level. Since sea level, sea level is represented by the integer, by the integer zero, zero, Mount Everest's, Mount Everest's height, would height would be represented by the integer, by the integer positive, positive 29,029. 29, the Mariana, the Mariana Trench, Trench, the deepest the part of the world's ocean, world's ocean is 36,070 30, feet below sea, sea level. Sea level. When writing when this writing height, this as, an height integer, as an integer, we use a negative, use a negative symbol, symbol to show that to the show Mariana, Mariana Trench, Trench is below, is below sea, level. sea level. The integer, the integer negative, negative 36,070 36, can be used to describe the height of the Mariana Trench. If we were to, put, we were Mount to put Mount Everest into, into the Mariana, Mariana Trench, Trench, would Mount would Everest's Mount height Everest reach sea level? No. no. The, Mariana the Mariana Trench, Trench is deeper is than Mount deeper Everest, than tall. Everest tall. We use we positive, use and, positive negative and negative numbers, numbers to help us to describe and understand, understand quantities, quantities that have opposite, opposite directions, directions or values. Or values. Positive, positive and negative, negative numbers, numbers are used, are used to, describe to describe much more, more than, than sea level. level. When describing, when describing temperature, temperature you may have you heard may someone have heard say someone that the temperature, the temperature is minus 10, 10 degrees Celsius. Celsius. This means, this means it, is it is 10 degrees below, below zero, degrees zero degrees outside. outside. And, and since zero, since degrees, zero degrees Celsius, Celsius is freezing, is freezing brr, that's brr, cold. That's cold. Positive, and Positive and negative, negative numbers, numbers are also, are also used, used to describe, to describe money. money. Think about, this. Think about this. Would you rather Would you have, ten have $10 or negative $15? 15, $15, 15 is more than 10, but is negative $15 more than $10? What does what negative does money negative mean? Money Negative $15, Negative $15 means, means that you are in debt $15, in debt $15 or you owe $15, you owe $15, $15 to someone. To someone. You would rather, you would have, rather $10 have $10 than owe $15, than owe $15 because, because minus, 15 minus 15 is less, is than, less 10. than 10. Most number Most lines number you've lines seen start at, zero. start at zero. However, However just as just there are an infinite, an infinite number of number positive numbers, numbers after, after zero, zero, there are an there infinite, are an number, infinite of number of negative, negative numbers, numbers before zero. Before zero. In fact, In fact zero, zero is the is only the number only that is neither that positive, is neither positive nor, negative. nor negative. In this lesson, In this lesson you, learned you learned how positive, how positive and, negative and negative numbers are, numbers are used, used to describe, to describe quantities, quantities in the real in the world. world. Okay, thanks to Icon Math for, for this awesome video. Okay, so from this video that we know that positive and negative numbers always we use in our daily life. Okay, positive number usually is more than zero. Not usually, it must be more than zero. Okay, a negative number is less than zero. So in, let's say, for example, in temperature, temperature we use zero 
as the indicator to determine whether that one is positive or negative number. So if the temperature is more than zero, mean that that is positive number. Okay. Uh, same as sea level. Sea level is uh, we use that one as zero. So anything above the sea level is positive number. And anything below the sea level, that is a negative number. Okay, for example, a bird is flying uh, 500 meter above the sea level. So above the sea level mean that positive number. So we can write down as plus 500 meter. And then after that, let's say a fish is swimming uh, 20 meter below the sea level. Okay, so 20 meter below the sea level, below mean negative. So we put negative 20. So that is how we use positive and negative number in our life. Okay, next, what are integers? Okay, what are integers? So positive numbers are numbers which are greater than zero. Okay, you have learned just now. And negative numbers are numbers which are less than zero. Okay, now integers consist of whole numbers which are with a positive or negative sign and including zero. So integer you have positive sign, okay, like the plus one, and also negative sign like the minus one that is positive and negative sign and including zero, but only consists of whole number. Okay, what are whole numbers? Okay, you have learned in previous lesson in your primary school, whole numbers are something like 1, 2, 100, 200, 1000, and so on. So, positive number, positive integer is, let's say, uh, positive 10, positive 20, positive 100. Okay, that is integer. And also, negative integer are like, negative 10, negative 50, negative 40, negative 100 and so on. So that is also integer and zero also integers. Okay, so we look at this a number. So I want you to determine whether this number are integers or not. Okay, so first you look at the first number, 2. Okay, 2, is it 2 the whole number? Okay, 2 is whole number, right? So 2 also is, is integer. Okay, negative 5. Is it 5 whole number? Okay, 5 also whole number. So, negative 5 also in integers. Negative 0 0.3. Is it 0 0.3 is whole number? No, 0 0.3 is not whole number. So, mean that negative 0 0.3 is not integer. Is it positive 31 is integer? 31 is whole number, right? So, 31 is also in integers. 11.9 so 11.9 is it whole number no so 11.1 uh, 11.9 also not integer 6 over 7 is it in is it whole number no so 6 over 7 is not integer negative 87 is it 87 whole number yes so negative 87 is integer negative 2 and 1 over 3 is it uh, whole number no, so that one is not integer. So I hope you can identify which number are integers, which number are not integers. Okay, next, integers on number line. So this is the number line. So let's say that is a zero. So on the right side is, this is a zero. On the right side is like one, two, three, four, five. So that one we call as positive numbers. Okay, positive number or positive integer. So, the more you go to the right, okay, the value is increasing. Okay, so that one is value increase. And then on the left side, okay, like that left side, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So, that one is negative number. Okay, or negative integers. So, you go to the left, the more you go to the left, the value is decreasing. Okay, so if you are using uh, 0 and then after that on the right is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, on the left side, your negative number, you must also follow the positive number. So you must start also with negative 2 
negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, and negative 10. Okay. So how do you compare integers? Okay, for example, given which is greater, 4 or 7. Okay, 4 or 7, this one, no problem. You know that 7 is greater than 4. Okay, number 2, 6 or negative 2. Okay, you look at this number. 1 is positive, 1 is negative. So, you remember the tips. The number, the positive number is always greater than negative number. Positive always greater than negative number. So, for this case, 6 is positive. So, x 6 is greater than negative 2. Okay, next, negative 3 or 2. Okay, negative 3 or 2. So, negative 3 is negative number. 2 is positive number. So, like, like I said just now, positive number is always greater than negative number. So, for this case, positive is 2. So, mean that 2 is greater than negative 3. Okay, you can also use these tips. Okay, this one, positive numbers always bigger than negative number just now. Okay, one on number line, numbers on the right side is always bigger than number on the left side. What does this mean? Okay, let's say you have a number line. Okay, so you look at the question number 3. Negative 3 or 2. So, on this number line, you write down the number first. Okay, let's say neg uh, negative 3 is located. 2 is here and negative 3 is here. Okay, if you write, you can write also uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 at this side. At, at the left side is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and so on. Okay, but we want to compare these two only. So, negative 3 or 2. So, between these two, which number is located on left? Uh, sorry, on right. Okay, which number is located on right? So, if you look at this, right is 2. Okay, 2 is located on right. So, remember, number on the right side is always bigger than the number of the left side. Okay, 2 on the right side. So, thus, 2 is bigger. So, for this case, 2 is bigger operator. Okay, next, number 4, 0 or negative 2. So, 0 of negative 2, of course, 0 is greater than negative 2. And then number 5, negative 6 or negative 3. Okay, so this one maybe some students will confuse negative 4 or uh, negative 6 or negative 3. So you, you can use the number line. Okay, you can arrange from 0, negative 1, negative 2. Let's say this is negative 3. And then the next is negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. Okay, you arrange on number line. And then after that, you compare which number on the left, which number on the right. So remember, number on the right is always greater than number on the left. So for this case, negative 3 is greater. Again, okay, because negative 3 on the right. So the answer is negative 3 is greater than negative 6. So that's how we compare integer. Yeah, how to arrange integers in order? Okay, for example, compare and arrange negative 3, 4, 2, negative 5, 0, negative 1 in ascending order. So, for this case, you can use number line. Okay, you write down the number first. Okay, 0 and on the left side, on the right side is positive number. On the left side is negative number. Okay, next, after that, you look at the question. Okay, negative 3, you circle the negative 3. 4, where is 4? Okay, you circle. 2, circle. Negative 5, 0, and negative 1. Okay, so that that's the number we want to compare, right? And you want to arrange. So you look at which order or oh, ascending order. Ascending order means from the smallest to biggest. Okay, from the left to right. So ascending order, left to right. So we can write down the answer from left to right, which you, you have circled just now. So we start at negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 0, 1, uh, sorry, 2 and 4. Okay, so that is ascending order. Okay, another example, compare and arrange. Negative 4, 3, 2, 5, negative 2, negative 1, negative 5 in descending order. So, same, you use number line. You write down the number 0 and on the right side is one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the left side is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So, you look at the question, negative 4. So, you circle negative 4, 3, you circle 3, 2, 
5, negative 2, negative 1, and negative 5. Okay, then after that, we look at which order, descending or ascending. Okay, for this case, it's descending. Descending means that from biggest to smallest. Okay, so from biggest to smallest mean that from right to left. Okay, so we read from right to left. So we will have to start at 5. Okay, okay 5, 3, 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4, and negative 5. So that's how we arrange integer in order. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you class for attending, uh, for your attending today. So see you again next week. Bye.